Hi Dave, thanks for inviting me to ask you a few questions around the recruitment of the Head of Human Resources. Firstly, I'm going to ask you a question. You're looking for a human resources professional who's an inspirational leader. What does the right inspirational leader bring to the organisation? Thanks Jess. Yeah, um, it's a big ask, but I think the right inspirational leader for this organisation is someone, A, who really can uphold our values, someone who believes in uh, our inclusive way of working both with service users and employees. I think it's somebody who can take people with them on a journey. Um, it's somebody who, who is a professional, will keep us safe, but is prepared to take the right risks when we need to get a result. That's brilliant. That sounds, that's really interesting. Really interesting. Cool. So the second question is you talk about the transformation in the way we work as an organisation. Mm. How are we going to apply that? How are we going to apply the transformation? How are we going to employ that? Okay. Probably the biggest risk to this organisation at the moment is our ability to recruit and retain staff. Staff are absolutely pivotal in delivering the services we need to deliver to service users. We can't do it without them. Like many, many, many organisations across the country at the moment, we're facing difficulties recruiting and retaining people. Right? It's best to be honest out there. I think the answer to that is growing our own. Right. So uh, the, the transformation for me is about setting professional standards. Yeah professionalizing the workforce, giving, giving something, when, it, when somebody comes into this organization at entry level, where are they going next? What's the pathway for that person? How do we foster that talent? And within the existing workforce, there is no doubt in my mind that this organization has some exceptionally talented people working in every type of role across the organization, whether it be technical services, support staff, HR. How do we know where that talent is? So the transformation really is about spotting talent, fostering talent and rewarding talent. And I suppose giving them a clear pathway of uh, career progression with the organisation. Absolutely, yeah, 100%. Let's have those people, let's have, when, when those people are working with us, let's get the very best out of them. They'll take the very best out of us. And for that period of time, we've got, we've got a really strong, proactive workforce. You've worked for Framework for a long time. Mm. You, you worked for them and then went away and came back. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've been working in this field for substance misuse for 20 odd years and our, our paths have crossed. Yeah. Um, tell me what's good about working for Framework and what drew you back into Framework after leaving. Yeah, OK. So you're right. I, um, I worked for Framework for, for, well, Framework and its predecessor organisation, one of its predecessor organisations for the best part of 20 years, I think it was, and then went away, which I think sometimes sounds a bit sinister. What I actually did was went away to work somewhere else. I went to work for a, a local authority housing company for nearly six years. Why did I come back to Framework? One, one of the things I love about this organisation, and even while I was away working elsewhere, it's a, bit like, it, it's a bit like you could be on the other side of the world, but you still sort of keep an eye on your football mm. team's results, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I, I was always aware of the work that Framework was doing when I wasn't working here, obviously. But it, it, for me, it's an organisation that... I think there are very few organisations where you work with a group of people who share the same values and by that I don't necessarily mean the corporate values although people do yeah. share those I mean people that work for framework work for framework for a reason and it all it feels that feels like you are all pulling in the same direction and I don't think there's many places like that and that's one of the key reasons that I was tempted and, so, and successful in, in returning. So it's, it's individuals that work for the organisation putting their self-investment into, into the journey and the direction of the organisation, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think, um, I think for, this, for this role that we're talking about now, for the, for the head of HR, I think there's a real opportunity for, for somebody coming in to be part of that, to, go, to garner that, if you like, and, 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 and take that forward in a way that makes us even stronger. So it's taking the best bits of the framework culture Adding something extra to that. Let's not let's not throw away the good bits, but let's let's make those good bits even stronger. And I think the head of HR has such a crucial role in in, in making that happen. 
certainly what brought me back to the organisation. I've got no regrets two years later having come back to the organisation. I work with some fantastic people. We do some fantastic work. It's fast paced. Sometimes I'm a bit tired at the end of the day, I've got to be honest. <laughs> but, um, but you know what? You, you, you sit back sometimes at the weekend and you go, wow, we, we've, we've achieved an awful lot in, in a very short space of time. And it's that pace, that ability to make decisions work autonomously within parameters, obviously. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, it, it, it's quite unique, I think. Thank you.